evening all, welcome to Project Zomboid Part 3, the continuing saga of Ralph Thompson, that's the dude I'm playing. <laughs> Basically, uh, yeah, where we've got to at the moment is um, the... Well, you'll see the warehouse of awesome this is basically <laughs> check out my warehouse <laughs> this is uh well let's tell you the story of this place as you and you're probably thinking wtf is that yeah there's a lot of zombie killing fields here um when you find certain places like warehouses and that you can find quite an abundance of, of ammunition so let's just say that combined with molotov cocktails combined with steel combined with you know uh, three separate hordes meant a bad time for the zombies but as you can see down there they keep coming so uh, it's it's all a bit kind of it's 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 risky to be honest i love that about the game if you fire your gun once you're at risk you know what i mean you know you can't just sit and blap away although i just did but what I had to run away from the warehouse for quite a while because and you'll see it to the left there they actually got in they smashed the door down and came in and I had to basically exit out of the other side so this is the beauty of the game you can be overwhelmed quite nicely anyway what I'm going to show you today is a bit of the crafting system um, it's not well, I guess it is crafting I'm gonna call it building system and to do this you need tools so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an axe a saw and we'll get a hammer later with nails and we're gonna go and get some wood <laughs> funny funny joke <laughs> so once I've got wood again very funny funny joke um, we can turn those into planks and then we can start to basically fortify areas okay um, so this is basically the plan so I can get rid of my shotgun because I can basically run away from anybody who comes and then we're going to equip our axe as primary okay so simple as that really um, let's just I don't need the food let's just make space again you do find you know you can't carry a great deal um, my character picked up a trait which is enfeeblement so he's feeble um, and it's causing <laughs> it means I can't carry as much so um, it's a bit of a problem now I don't know if I got that because I'm not eating enough I don't know if I got that because I was sedentary for too long but either way, it's uh, it's a bit of a challenge. Anyway, so here we go. What we're going to do is we find a tree. Now, again, the base being where it is, is is perfect. Again, I showed you the map here. It's right at the top of the town. So you don't get too much trouble from zombies coming from the north. So, um, you, And you also have an abundance of trees. So you could, you know, basically you can fortify this very nicely. Now, again, the, the way this works is you have to cut down logs. You then get the logs, as you'll see here. We then just pick them up. So we go grab all. Now, unfortunately, I, I am stupid. I'm moving these into my duffel bag, so this is why it's taking a bit longer. So you just need to be aware of that. You see, I basically get all that completely wrong. <laughs> so there we go. Um, but again, once you've figured out the inventory system, it's not too bad. So you see it's put the log in the bag already, which is kind of not what I wanted, that, and hence it's taking a bit of time. Um, there we go. So let's move the saw and our normal uh, wood into the uh, into the normal area. And as you can see, I'm overloaded because obviously these things are heavy. And then what we do is saw wood. So that's that wood, those logs. Oops, don't move around when you do it. Those logs get turned into planks. Oh, so there we go. So that, And those planks are basically what you can use to build walls, floors, barricades. You name it, you can build it. Um, and what we're going to show you for the rest, I think, is how to continually fortify an area. So, um, you know, I mean, pretty much that warehouse I would recommend is a good place to go. But... You could fortify maybe the police station. Again, I don't know if a zombie horde can break through the bars of the of the cells. So maybe that becomes a kind of, you know, last hope sort of place, you know. You've also got all of the gun and ammunition. Um, guns and ammunition, basically, from the police station. So, I don't know, you know, maybe post in the comments if you're playing this game. Maybe tell me where a good place to fortify is. I did go and look at the wood mill, which is to the north out of the town and then to the, I guess, the, the west. And I got there, and there's three great big warehouses. Perfect, I thought, because you've got so much space. But it got a bit creepy, particularly at night, because, again, you can't really experience this game until you've turned the music off, okay? To just, to just play this game without music. Because when you start to walk around, like, buildings and, you know, sort of things, you'll hear little knocks and bangs and creaks. And it's, there's a system designed to tell you if there are zombies nearby, and it, it is scary as balls. I was basically bivouacking down in the wood mill, and um, I, I went to sleep in the managing director's office, and I woke up, and I could hear this kind of scraping noise. I don't know if you can hear it, like, I don't know if you can hear that. It's like this sort of scraping, and it was only intermittent. 
And I thought, oh man, is that like a branch? What's that? And I thought, oh well, who cares? Um, I walk straight out of the door into a zombie and I get panicked and I, I run away. And then that was it. I never went back to the woodmill because firstly, I can't figure out how on earth he got in there. And maybe I missed him on the first pass. Secondly, I can't believe how stupid I was because he would have, if he'd have, if, if that door had been open, he'd have been in and eating me while I was asleep. And, and to be honest, you know, again, the, the, the thing of this game is survival is important. So here we go, barricading up. So you can see here we're just adding more boards. Now again, the number of boards you add to a door or a window denotes how barricaded it is. So this is a fully barricaded window, well, soon. Uh, four boards is fully barricaded. And that means it could withstand an entire zombie horde for about a day and a half. So it gives you a lot of time to basically plan. But what you can't do is barricade um, all the entrances and exits. You have to have one in and out. Now, you could use barricades to maybe lock in yourself at night, but again, I don't think it's too bad. As long as you keep away from anywhere where they can see you, smell you, or hear you, then you can pretty much sleep pretty, uh, you know, simply. So here we go, we're sleeping now. And as you can hear, you can hear the noises. You can hear things moving around. Well, you probably can't, but when you do this in maybe houses or, or sort of smaller locations, you can hear things at night. And it, you actually find yourself getting a little bit on edge because it's like, what the hell's that? And then as you're about to see, when you wake up and it's pitch black, that's pretty scary, isn't it? <laughs> and you know that basically, I mean, I haven't equipped my gun. I haven't, I, I stupidly, I never go to bed without clutching my gun. And I, I was an idiot because I didn't think about that. But, um, but as you can see, I'm just always, and again, the paranoia sets in because I'm actually doing a round of the building. And I'm just checking, make sure there's no zombies sneaked in. Oh, it's scary. It really is. So I think we're pretty safe. So let's just put our planks away <clears throat> and let's get our gun back out. And then we'll do a bit more of a tour um, of our wonderful building. Again, I think the beauty of these, particularly the, uh, particularly the, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the warehouses, is basically you do get a ma you know each one of those boxes can have an inventory and there's like loot. It basically spawns a loot system. Um, so if you're looking for the obvious stuff like, you know, equipment, ammo, you know, um, uh, just all the way through to tools, etc., then warehouses will have that in abundance. What it won't have is food. So, but food is plentiful in houses. So all you need to do is raid the houses and bring the food back here. You'll notice there's a vending machine there. It, it's kind of sometimes on and sometimes off. At the moment, I think we've got to the point where the, the power is generally always off now. And unfortunately, the water is probably on once every three days so I can only drink from that that um, sink every sort of three days so what I've actually done and this is just again simple thing really is finding as many bottles as you can when the water's on fill them all up if I also found a bucket a great big bucket and when the water was on I filled that bucket to the top so I've got water for days and food for months so you know and, and as long as I'm careful with the water so you know as long as you don't kind of do too much you'll be okay anyway got the shotgun back now i feel very safe with this shotgun so let's just fast forward a little bit into the day and uh, let's just show you a bit more of this so that was where the zombie horde originally came in zombies do drop loot um usually things like sheets and uh, nails and things like that and stuff you can use <clears throat> let's have a quick look out the window again when i one one day when i looked out that window there was a zombie horde there and they smashed the door down and came after me <laughs> in seconds they were on me in seconds so this is why i had to leg it out the other way but then i found the shotgun and then you know all that good stuff so you know to turn a shotgun because you do find a lot of shotguns to turn a shotgun into a sawn off shotgun you need the saw and then the, the sawn off shotgun has a massive amount of damage it, it literally will just you know, it, it basically, you know, two or three shots took out 20 plus zombies. So that's how powerful they are. But you've got to time it just right. The range on it is pretty poor. Uh, anyway, so I think, you know, if you're going to play this game, then I would recommend something like this. It, the frustration I have with the game is finding tools. It took me days to find the saw. And the saw is probably one of the most important tools in the game and the hammer probably. Um, but just coming to this warehouse, I found everything. Hammers, saws is the lot even sledgehammers so I can even knock down walls that's the beauty of this game is you can actually knock down walls extend it a bit you can I mean what I'm probably gonna do here is build a little vegetable patch because again eventually the food's gonna run out so what I want to try and do is is build some maybe you know anti-zombie walls around the base that have grass on them 
um, and maybe extend backwards towards the highway. Um, and then, you know, basically we would plaster it all as well. So you, you would, while you would build wood walls, which are pretty flim, flimsy, you then, you barricade them, then you, you plaster them, and then you can even paint them. And you can build basically a complete wall that the zombies shouldn't attack because they'll probably never hear you. As long as you don't fire the shotgun or something stupid, then they probably won't hear you. So, and then you'll be able to plant seeds, and I've got all of the seeds under the world. Uh, under the sun basically ready to go so you know pretty much i would say this warehouse is a good find um there's a microwave as well <laughs> so you can cook for, like you know hot food but again only when the power's on and i think sadly at this point now when i'm many months in i think the um the microwave really does no longer work so you know kind of sucks anyway there we go so again just a more creepy creepy stuff at night i don't think there's too many sound effects there and that's where we'll cut i think next time we're going to show you some raiding we'll go into the town and we'll start to look for clothing because it's starting to get to winter and i'm waking up cold now so my my rather fancy looking vest top is not enough anymore i need to find jumpers and boots and stuff like that so there we go that'll be next time hope you enjoyed that see you next time